60 test this time in sport mode three two one zero sixty okay right well, this is a lovely mighty Audi Q7 let's start with the basics rear view vision is considerably obstructed by the headrests although you do have ample glass to see from. The wing mirrors are enormous, they're about the size you get on a truck, we like that, that's good. Instrument cluster is not obstructed by the steering wheel. Centre console here, very easy to operate, everything is very elementary. You have your onboard screen here for your sat nav etc etc. This has the adaptive air suspension so you can mess around with your suspension. You can lift it, off-road, comfort, automatic or dynamic. The interior of the vehicle I would describe as a little bit bland to be honest, but it's by no means cheap. It's all very solid. It's just, obviously there's variations with the interior, it's just this one's not the greatest. When you accelerate on this car, the engine makes a lovely howling noise. I hope it shows up. It is a powerful beast. It's not that fast, to be fair, but I mean, this car is enormous. Headroom, plenty of it. Legroom, plenty of it. Uh, you could get many people in this car very comfortably indeed. The steering is very responsive, which is surprising for the size of this car with the big long wheel, long wheel base. Give the steering a bit of a wobble. The car doesn't roll around at all. It's There's a bit of a shake there, but it's certainly not much of a roll. It's most certainly not boating. That's pretty impressive. If I was to do that on some of the Range Rovers, the car would be swinging all over the place like a boat in water on the choppy seas. The brakes on this car are phenomenal. This thing could stop the QE2 in its tracks. All in all, this is a very impressive package. If anybody's thinking about buying one of these, I think the only thing you've got to look out for is not getting one with an undersized engine, which is pretty unlikely anyway, and also you've got to get your interiors right because like BMWs they're either really good or really awful now I'm just going around the corner now to see what this is like on the corners and a great big vehicle like this and I have to say it's hardly leaning at all it's very impressive at the moment in time this is about as good as it gets with vehicles and as I say if you're thinking about buying one of these well you can't go wrong really, they are fantastic vehicles, they tick all the boxes, they're fantastic road presence, beautiful vehicles to drive, and I'll just give you an example of what the brakes are like now, I'm doing 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, brakes on, and the whole thing comes to a standstill magnificently. All brakes working, perfect synchronization. These vehicles are awesome, they're going to be around for a while and they're going to be big sellers. If you're lucky enough to buy one, enjoy. If you're not, <laughs> enjoy your dreaming.